In this SafflerBond.com contributor review, we're going to review one of the latest of two releases from Jeroboam, and we're reviewing Vespero, this one right here. You're also going to have a chance at winning a full bottle of Vespero coming right up. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian with Smelling Great Fragrance Reviews. If this is your first time on my channel and or you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, please click the subscribe button below and also click that bell icon so you'll be notified for future videos and giveaways. And yes, we are reviewing Jeroboam's Vespero, this right here. I discovered Jeroboam probably a year and a half, almost two years ago in Paris at the Jevoy store. Jeroboam is a new brand that was launched around two years ago by uh, Francois Hanin, uh, who owns Jevoy, the store, and also the brand. And I discovered Vespero along with the uh, Ambra, the two that were launched earlier this year at Exxon's in Milan. And I immediately fell in love with the way Vespero smelled. Without knowing any of the notes and without even asking what the notes were, I thought I smelled vetiver because it was earthy, rooty, and woody. But uh, once I discovered what the notes were, I was completely surprised at uh, what I was smelling. So a little information about Vespero. It was a 2017 launch. It comes in 30 ml extrait de parfum like this, pure perfume, and it retails for $120. The perfumer for Vespero is Vanina Maracchiole, who also did all of the Jeroboam fragrances, and also I did a Safferbon.com review recently for Jevoy's Incident Diplomatique, and she's also the perfumer behind that fragrance as well. Vespero is an Esperanto word, and it means night or nighttime. So all of the Jeroboam fragrances uh, are named in Esperanto. A little information about the notes. In the top, you've got bergamot, apple, and pink grapefruit. In the heart notes, you've got cedarwood, geranium, leather, and jasmine. And in the base notes, you've got patchouli, ambery woods, and enigmatic musks. So as I said, I thought I smelled vetiver when I first smelled this at Exxon's earlier this year, but there's no vetiver mentioned here in the notes. The fragrance starts off pretty fruity. Um, apple is big here. It's green apple, juicy, crisp, along with the pink grapefruit, and of course the bergamot. So this is where you think this is going to be a very lively, fun, happy fragrance. But while the fragrance is going into the heart, it starts becoming darker. In the heart notes, this is all about the woody cedar wood and the geranium with some touches of leather. In the base, as it's drying down, it's becoming darker even further with uh, patchouli, ambery woods, and the musks. Personally, to me, Vespero is all about the musks, the cedar wood, patchouli, and green apple. So this is the kind of fragrance that you would put on in the afternoon where there's still sunshine out, that's bright and kind of happy. But as the, the fragrance is getting to the heart notes, you're going to see like the darkness uh, setting into the sky. It's becoming nighttime. And while it's in the base notes, it's when you're going out to a party where it's dark, perhaps go to a club or something. That's what I've envisioned with the Vespero. It's pretty much starts out, like I said, a very bright, big and happy, but as the daytime is getting darker, your fragrance is also getting darker and darker. And that's what I like about this fragrance. It becomes just the kind of fragrance that I would wear going out to perhaps a bar, sipping on cocktails, or maybe going to a club to dance. The cool thing about this fragrance also is that the compliment getter. And what I, what I think is causing that is because of the musks I think that are in here. And a little bit about the musks also, I've noticed in, in the, uh, Jeroboam fragrances, which now I've done three videos for, uh, two for South Lebron. We did a, a video for Hoto, the tuberose dominant fragrance, which also had lots of musks in it. And uh, I've also done a compilation sort of a video featuring three of their fragrances, Origino, Insulo, and Mixado. So musks are very, very key to the this brand. I think that's my uh, opinion. And and going back to the compliments, I think it's what's causing uh, the compliments here are the musks. Uh, all the reactions with this fragrance were positive. Both men and women seem to like this on me and the way it smells. And the reactions have been really, really great. And getting compliments wearing fragrances is just a, a great experience because it opens up conversations that people would, uh, w with people that you probably wouldn't even be talking to. And when that happens, it makes for a really, really awesome evening 
of discussing fragrances with complete strangers. So if you don't know this line, I highly recommend it. The bottles are really, really portable, 30 ml bottles. They're extra long lasting fragrances, Extrait de Parfum concentration, and very, very unique fragrances in the collection with uh, Vespero being one of them. So that's pretty much it with Vespero. If you want to participate in the 30 ml bottle giveaway like this for any USA subscribers of this channel, please head over to SafflerBond.com. They'll have instructions there as to what to do to participate in this giveaway, and good luck with that. Also guys, what are your thoughts about this line Jeroboam and uh, this fragrance Vespero? Do you know this brand? Do you know Javoy? Uh, do you like the idea of a green apple with musks? Please let me know so we can get a conversation started. Also please like this video, please share it. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye.